Hey guys and welcome back to Raccoon Creek Homestead. Today I will be making crackers. What kind of crackers? Sourdough crackers. Anyway. Okay, so this recipe is super easy and you can do it with your sourdough discard. Uh, if you don't know, discard is basically before you feed it. So because I have a decent amount of sourdough starter build up, this is a very quick and easy way to get rid of the discard without it taking a lot of time. To actually make and mix this, it only takes about five minutes and then we'll put it in the oven for about a half hour. Uh, Nick is going to walk you through how to make it and I'm just his assistant today. So, here we go. I have my pan and I have my ingredients set out. I will show you how much it is. So you need three tablespoons of butter to start with. Melted. Melted. And then we're going to work. One half tisp, aka teaspoon, of salt, fine sea salt, but this salt is actually horrible. And we can use the measure. We use the measuring cup because it's that little. And then we need one cup unfed sourdough. Please, I need to start first. With the knife? Just with that, that's fine. Gotta stir it a little first. And then we get. You can tip that if you need to. And while he is dumping out our one, one cup, one cup, one cup of sourdough starter, oh, uh, I actually finally came up with a name for our sourdough starter. Oh boy! And it's Dolene, like Jolene, but Dolene. So now every time I get it out, I sing the Jolene song, and I'm not gonna break your ears with it yet. I probably will in the future, but. What, I don't know, maybe there's just not enough like wine in my system. I don't know. I don't have anything to drink today. But I am not intoxicated enough to karaoke yet. So, there we go. That's what, a quarter cup? Yeah, this is a quarter cup. Okay, so there's one out of four quarter cups, by the way. Two, two, three, three, don't gotta say it like that, uh -huh. four. and four, <laughs> and you can just leave that sourdough one in there and I'll feed it after. This? Yep. You want me to put the lid back on? That's fine. We have all the ingredients, and now I'll just use the knife to mix it. Like I said a second ago, it is literally so small, it barely even uses up half of our, uses up just a little, well it uses up a little more than a cup, look if I have it flat at least. We use the parchment paper to line it, that way it comes out really easy and you can just like pop it out. Oh, also, we preheated the oven to 300. You can just like pour it on as pour it. Pour it. And then once it's done dripping and we got pain again. You want me to do it? 
Okay, I'm just spreading it out to get it even. That way it bakes even. We could have easily doubled this recipe, but we just didn't. Yeah. Is it preheated? Hold securely. And, and okay, we have our optional everything bagel seasoning. You can put any kind of seasoning on it. But, or you could put any kind of seasoning on it. You just want to spread it out evenly. Mom does the oven entries because, well, Okay, so since we used some of the starter and it got a little bit lower, I'm going to go ahead and give it a feeding before um, I put it back in the fridge. I'm going to feed it. I'll let it sit out all night and then I'll put it in the fridge and that way it's ready to go. And I want to use it to do whatever it is that I make next. So I'm just going to feed it. And because we just used this, I'm just going to reuse it. And it's probably going to stick really bad, but I'll just wipe it out. Um, and the water will help to do that also. So, here we go. Oh, and although I use the water from my sink, we are on a well. We don't have a water softener. Um, you want to be careful using water from your tap. If you are on city water, they tend to use chlorine to, um, like to sanitize it to kill all of the bad bacteria and whatnot in it. And you don't want to put that in your sourdough starter because it kind of defeats the purpose and it kills some of that good bacteria. So let me get one more of these. And you can't have too much air. No such thing as too much air in your sourdough. And I like to use the side of the thing, kind of smash any of the flour. Okay, and there we go. Sourdough is fed. You can see those little baby bubbles. One day I'm just going to put a time lapse on this and just watch it like go up and then back down. Because <laughs> it's, look, because I'm nerdy like that and it's what I do. I just pulled the crackers out of the oven. They were in there for about... 35 to 40 minutes and you know when they're done when they just I mean it's really hot so I'm like not going to touch it a whole lot but they get like the brown I mean if you want to cut them you totally can I don't because they just don't even last long enough hot 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 and wait for them to cool 
What fun is that? Cheers. Ding. It tastes like a cheese it kind of. It's crazy. You saw what we put in it, but they taste like cheese it's. There's no cheese in them. I think it's the butter. Butter and the sourdough. But they're really yummy. And like I said, they taste like cheese it's and it's ends up being flour, water, butter, salt, seasoning. Super easy, super tasty. If you want it to last more than three days, double the <laughs> batch. Yeah, so I'll dip these in cream cheese. I don't even care. They are that good. That's what it is. <laughs> I was thinking of dipping them in caramel. Ew, no. Cream cheese. <laughs> anyway, super easy. I'll put the recipe in the description box, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Don't have a good day. Have a great day.